Uh, my name is Jonathan David Schroeder. Uh, my nickname on the uh, on GitHub is myself himself. And I, I will first uh, start not presenting, okay? And because the chocolate is ready. So we have uh, some chocolate molds here for the LGM logo. And I will explain after what it is. Thank you for hitting the chocolate. So, and so we have uh, these two molds, but I uh, will have to make the traditional way of tampering. That is to say, I will create some types of crystal in the chocolate. Chocolate can have six types of crystals. Did you know? Did you not know? No, you did not know. So, we'll try to create uh, crystal type number five or uh, V, like V, like a uh, Roman V. Okay, let's go. So, <coughs> Okay, so I check the temperature of chocolate. Right now it's 43 degrees Celsius. It's good. But I need to put... Uh, okay, I'll make the whole curve for this. So I will make it go down to uh, 28 degrees, something like this. Okay, let's go. Action. So this is a ball with ice and we just have to wait. Okay, so I do nothing and I come back. Okay, uh, so, so we'll start the presentation now. <laughs> I will try to avoid to put chocolate on the microphone. Okay, we we'll wait. Hein, du coup? Le pied. Ouais, ouais, mais je, je, ouais, je préfère. So let's go. It's about the uh, porous pastry mold making. So you will see the whole process, how to make molds with the thermo farming technique, also known as vacuum farming. So first, it's about me. I have a professional diploma for <laughs> chocolate, but maybe today this will fail. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and I'm about to have the professional diploma for pastry, but today also it will fail, maybe. So, and there, uh, sometimes I do industrial design. So this box at the top right, it's a, um, Advent calendar, and we have sold with a friend uh, one thousand boxes of this. It's a uh, chocolate, chocolate with stacks on it, molded. And uh, during life, to <laughs> because I'm broke when I do chocolate, uh, I'm a software developer, and I work for uh, Adobe Premiere. I worked also for a Gmic Pie. This binding, which is sleeping, a Gmic Pie. It's me. Hey, why is it sleeping? Because of me. <laughs> so sorry if you don't manage to compile it uh, anymore. Whatever. Okay, so uh, I specialize in low relief mold making, so not uh, very, uh, not to make characters. And to start the game, I will pr just uh, make this bag go in the uh, here uh, around you. You can open it and see it's uh, what I do best. So it's basically logos and uh, uh, characters, and it's nice to see. Uh, so it's low relief. So. I made this presentation to be very fast. I will check the temperature. So, 39 degrees. I have to stir a bit. Yes, sir. Because uh, there will be too, there will be too many crystals at the bottom, otherwise. Okay. <laughs> chocolate assistant. So he will be the chocolate assistant. So, so he will take about Inkscape and I will do some chocolate. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's about Inkscape, this slide. But there is nothing more. Uh, it's not so. Okay, so this is. Uh, okay, you have to reach 28, 29 degrees. And then we go uh, up to 31, 32 degrees. The goal is to create two types of crystals, the beta and beta prime. Beta prime. What is it? Prime? Beta quote. Okay. Prime. Okay. And then we'll go up to 31, 32 degrees. And the beta prime will go away. It will dissolve and beta uh, will uh, remain. You must succeed. Okay. <laughs> it fails there. <laughs> okay. Sorry for you, but okay. So now. Uh, so what we have decided with uh, Cedric is that it would be nice to make molds uh, for the event. 
So I've met some moles, but not for everyone, as you wrote on Linux Affair. I was very stressed. Yeah, everyone will have his moles. I'm sorry, I just have six. So anyway, so and uh, so to make a mold, you can use uh, Inkscape, for example, a vector program. So that's what I use most of the time. Okay. Then you can make a 3D model. For, for this, I use Blender. But if you see, this is Blender.79 because my computer is so old. <laughs> it's 10 years old. So OpenGL does not work anymore if I, if I get uh, higher versions. And so basically, you. Oh, we, no, we will. OK, it's something like this. OK. It's uh, you print plastic. but uh, And uh, this is just a simple model. And I did not use. Boolean. Maybe I used it. Uh, I don't like how it works in Blender because it fails most of the time. I mean, to make a clean mesh for 3D printing, it's not funny. So then, and I use the 3D printing toolbox. Maybe you know it. It's a plugin for a Blender, and it allows you to check uh, the mesh structure. Next, you can use a FreeCAD. It's good, except that it crashes <laughs> when you try to make a bevel of uh, SVG logo in FreeCAD. It's been years like this, so I don't use it. So, and then you use a slicer. So you can use a Cura, Prusa slicer, or a bamboo slicer, which is a fork, and maybe a, uh, yeah, Prusa slicer is a fork of, I have forgotten. Yeah, it's like that with a free, with a free, uh, in, in free uh, yeah, exactly. So we must uh, give credit to the good people. So this is this part which you see on the screen, this. And this is a, a part of the LGM logo. There are four parts. And uh, we have everything, we have everything, okay. So. Uh, then it's got printed uh, here in the entrance. See the temperature. On est à 30. Yeah, it's bientôt. Okay. And uh, it's uh, plutôt 28, hein, 28, 29. Non, non, ah, non, non, 28, 29. Ah, ben j'ai vu une bêtise. <laughs> that mix in my head. C'est moi, it's my fault. I did a bad. Uh, I said to him bad temperature. Toujours, ouais, toujours. Là. <laughs> okay, and then we, we can make a mold with a vacuum forming machine. This is, this is one. And I, I usually don't use such machines because they are complicated to travel with. So I have to travel, I had to travel with this in a supermarket bag for groceries uh, and the upside down because it's too big here. So I had a tough night trying to find uh, what to do in the TGV. So. And I will show you how to make vacuum farming because you've seen uh, printing in the interest. Now it's time to, to make some uh, molds. Okay, and then there is technical stuff. But we'll start vacuum farming now. I'm sorry for you. Uh. <laughs> okay, so let's go. So uh, which part do you want? We will take the new one because we don't have this one. This one is the last one. It just it's fresh from the printer, people. Okay, so go. It's here. And now I'll take a sheet. Okay, you don't see anything. I'm sorry. sorry. Okay, c'est bon. Okay. I hope it will succeed today. <laughs> so this is my trash. Okay. Okay, so this sheet is PETG. I like it because it does not break when it's too warm. A PET, normal, without glycol, it breaks. So this does not break and it's used for uh, medical uh, use and uh, food. it's food safe as well. So. On est bon? Tu veux faucher ou pas? Ah non, je suis d'accord. Hey, tu veux pas? Non, tu veux pas? C'est trop critique. So. <laughs> okay. Tu veux ça un truc tout bête en attendant Vas-y. Ouais. Ok, so, so in order to uh, kill time, uh, Mark will do something very nice. He will take this uh, sablé mix, which was what's done uh, with love here in the house, and put it in the big mold that we have. En gros, tu prends la, la spatule et tu mets dans les dedans. Voilà. 
Merci. I will come back to look for a size of. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> that doesn't change me from when I'm coding on Inkscape. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I had to hit this to a precise temperature and now it's gone and it's dropping in temperature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, <bye. laughs> it's, uh, it's not that grave. Uh, it's a little bit of No, 34 degrees, are you serious? <laughs> people, uh, two warm people here, please uh, take a shower. What? Uh, I don't know, but no. Okay, 35. We'll wait a bit. Okay, cool. So, we'll do the vacuum farming to occupy time. remplir ces gens ça ou ouais ouais c'est bien par contre c'est bien de les barder en fait. <laughs> I, I, sorry, but, uh, I, I don't have precise information <laughs> with the fucking manual <laughs> I don't have the manual <laughs> I have the manual okay Can you it? And it blows, you take the thing down, okay? And the, when the fire. Uh, yeah, you fire, you, you do whatever, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? 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 <laughs> okay, so it's good. So I will take the I will take the chocolate uh, those ones, okay? I will try to to pipe to pipe them. Action! Okay, go no. Ça sent bon. It smells good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, Marc, si le sol il est sale, c'est de ta faute, ok? Si quoi? If the ground is dirty, uh, it's your fault. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> c'est bon. Allez, allez. Oh, ah. C'est 
parti. Uh, always left hand. I uh, raise the problem. Maybe. So, okay. Okay, bon. Ça relax. Parti. Donc là, on est en place. So I just uh, pipe inside. I have six chocolates to pipe. It's very. <laughs> so much chocolate for this. Why? Let's go. Action. Okay. It's piping. Think you don't see anything? Oh no. It's on top of this. <laughs> Okay, action. Tu regardes pas, okay? Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to shake it, okay? To remove bubbles. But... <laughs> okay, this one is ready, let's say, okay? Now. Okay. Hey, professional chocolate, yes, come. Yes. <laughs> and now check. Oui bon. Ah, it's uh, I won't. I know I have to. Et barbé. Je vais barbé, but. Today is a special day, so I won't do it. <laughs> Pardon, tu peux y parler, toi. Je sais pas ce que ça veut dire. C'est bon, remove the... <laughs> He's giving me orders with technical kitchen terms in French, which I don't know about. <laughs> so, I have to ébarbé, so if someone knows about it, <laughs> tell me what I have to do. C'est bon ou pas C'est bon C'est bon C'est bon Et si tu t'enlèves le, les bords là, là tu vois, t'en as mis 4 fois trop. It's uh, all over the edge. Uh, clean the edge, clean the edge. I had no information. <laughs> like me. So, ok, we come back. This good. Ok, I will show you how to make it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Il m'a dit, il m'a dit, je sais pas, il m'a dit, il y en a quatre fois trop, j'en avais peut-être pas. Mais il n'y a rien qui dépasse du moule. Ok, Axon, c'est comme ça, là, tu vois, tu connais la sèche. Tac. Ouais, tu fais pas un truc sale comme moi, bien sûr. Make it clean, ok Ok, something clear. Ok, but uh, professional, we do, ok Sure. <laughs> ten years experience in ten years. Well, it's not ten years, it's just two years. Uh, <laughs> and some chefs don't like me, like, what you do? Know? Last day with me, okay. Okay, and then we go to next company. Okay, so. Bon. Je vais couper celui-là. No! <laughs> <laughs> Ok, so let's go. This assistant. Ok, So this uh, will go in the freezer, but our freezer is too hot today. It does not make so nice ice. So I have some old ones which I try to get out of the freezer. So, so I'm making this for nothing? Huh? So I'm making this for nothing? What? <laughs> <laughs> Non, froid, froid, froid. 
Mais de toute façon, euh, tu peux être dans la partie glacée, c'est pareil, j'ai que le truc en Le fridge is not so. So cold. Ouais, bon. Ok. This is a story that spoils the thing, ok? Ok. <laughs> It's okay. I did, I did a good job, he told me. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that, it's a, now that that is gone, what happens if this also makes noise? <laughs> Run. Run, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate is done as well. C'est bon. Non, ça va. Met. C'est chaud. Donc là, t'es prêt ou t'es prêt Je sais pas ce que je dois faire. Je te, je te passe du. J'ai remis du papier. Il faut démouler ça sur le papier. Ça y est. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Mais du coup, ceux-là, ils vont ronger les coussins. Il a dit, 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 il Ça marche pas. N'hésite pas à taper. Mmh. Ça. <coughs> Je mets l'air dessus d'abord. Donc alors faut défaire les clamps. You have to undo the clamps mmh. first, ok? Good. And then uh, raise this, uh, remove this drawer. Like, remove like the one on the, on the chair. You take this one, here you put it uh, on the chair, it's good. Uh, or give to assistant. <laughs> <laughs> assistant of the assistant. <laughs> good, perfect. Yeah. Ah, non. C'est pas grave. Tu peux le faire pour rien. Oh, tu devrais faire une photo, donc tu peux venir voir. Après. Merci. C'est bon, Jack? Tell me what to do. Okay, so you take this and you put on the canvas. Mm -hmm. The three of them. This, this, this. Have you done this before? No, I have some experience with uh, like printing, printing, but uh, not with packing. So. Okay, just uh, space it more because we're gonna pack it. Okay, thank you. Then you take this sheet and you will put it on top. But you remove, must remove the the two sides. Okay. Yeah. Put it on the floor because it's also a sheet. Could I have some of the paper, please? You could have something? Yeah. Okay. Is that for the shit? Look it up. Okay, it's uh, too much. Like, uh, you could have tried like cultivating the wood. I, I will get side by ball and uh, in LGM side by ball in the bed. Okay. <laughs> no. Ah, but no, she has to shit. Look, you've had more women, so what? Okay. Right, thank you. So we have to fight first. We'll, you'll make a drop of caramel. So look at the shot. Okay. Okay. You can see. So, he's a little bit out of the frigo. He's a little bit out of the frigo. So you can make a drop like this. So it's good. So it's good. So it's good. So it's good. And this, or you can make like everywhere. Yeah, this is good. It's good. It's good. Have you done this before? No. Okay. No. So I have an idea what's going to happen, but uh... it's good. Yeah, this way is good. Good inside. Mm. Are you from Germany? Yes. Machine and power engineer. Sorry. Machine and power engineer. No, mathematics. Okay. Good to doctor. Uh, wait, 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 this is the magnet, you should move, go this way, okay, 
it's very uh, broken stuff. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> it's hot here. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? Climate change. Climate change. I love what you do. Thanks. I love it. It's beautiful. You cannot see it. <laughs> so. Yes, I. Uh, okay. Okay. It's more or less okay. So now. Good. Now you can uh, pull this up. Okay. So this is a heat, and at the bottom is a vacuum, like a hoover. And you can press uh, okay many times. Where? Uh, the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And okay. It says okay. And then press the wrench button. So it says select material. Yeah, we keep this material. This <coughs> mm, it's good. Or mm, it's good. Mm, it's <laughs> good. So, not like uh, me, when it starts to make noise, it finishes, you just uh, take it down with okay. this, the handle. Okay, you can do better than me, you're German, I'm half German, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, I like what you do. Oh. Yeah, someone wants to pipe cream, you want to pipe cream, you did it. <coughs> you want to pipe cream, please, please. We have many assistants here. <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, what? Already, already. <laughs> okay, so uh, you cut this here. Yeah. You know how to cut? <laughs> <laughs> and you turn. You cut it and you turn. Okay. Uh, this is set. <laughs> okay, ready? So, as you see, this is a magic machine because it's PETG, but on the screen it's not written PETG, it's written HDPA. <laughs> it's, the, it's the wrong plastic. No, I prefer this heat, it's like a warmer. So, uh, summer is nicer. So, c'est très joli, very nice. Okay, okay, très vrai. No, it's a success. We have some success in this adventure. Alors, c'est une douille Saint-Honoré. Okay, I have to. Ouais, c'est une douille Saint-Honoré. Okay. Uh, this uh, noise is not have the magic effect, okay? Magic effect. Thank you. Okay. Oui? C'est bon? So, I am going to show you one, okay? Okay, she, she did this cream with love. Love, love, so let's go. But I do Saint Honoré, uh, it goes out this way. <laughs> I mean, uh, up also. So it makes like tears. Yeah, and so, uh, okay, you can make tears. I don't know what to show you with this because it's complicated. It should go out, this stuff, good. Okay. Yes. You can do like this. <laughs> this is very advanced, okay. This is 10 years of experience to make this. <laughs> You can press again on the uh, mm -hmm. press again the big button. Okay, what's your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for you. I'm not satisfied, but it looks my first time. It looks like I. Uh, so let's wait. Mm. Do you want to fill the cookie for this? I can do that. Okay, merci. It's <laughs> remplacing, I should do it. It's a useless part. Would you want someone to put it on the screen? Oh, yeah. What, the... The everything? Ah, yeah. ah you have camera? Yeah. I have one. A video assistant? Yeah. So, so video yeah, assistant. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I can... It's the button. Maybe you can just take the... Uh, okay. okay. So, merci, merci beaucoup. Oh. 
After we need the assistant people to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure they really wish. <laughs> Next assistant, please. <laughs> okay, so um, it looks good. Looks good. Uh, yeah, you you do nothing. <laughs> so, tu peux, tu peux être les zest Je sais pas si c'est bon, hein, mais on va tenter. T'en veux pas trop, c'est le zest of uh, Citron, is a bit uh, harsh. Ok. Ok. Uh, work in progress, Alpha 1. <laughs> oh non, t'as mis une tonne de zest, t'es sérieux <laughs> It's like this. It's like okay. Okay. Ça va. Uh, I will bring some um, dishes to taste, okay? This is no, okay, it's part. Yes. <laughs> you are Anna. Yeah. No. So Anna is a very nice woman because she whips the cream. <laughs> nice. Who wants to taste? Anyone to taste, please? Uh, four spoons. Four people, please. Taste something. <laughs> Il y a moins il y a trop de citron. Too much lemon, sorry. No, try, try. So it's a new trend. It's called sablé recomposé. So you basically take uh, biscuits from Bretagne, you mix them a lot, and then you put butter, butter, even more. So it has even more butter, and this <laughs> one is salty butter because it's Brittany, you know. So. I can volunteer as well if you want. Ouais. Tiens. <laughs> Thank you. Tu veux que je te tienne le. Ouais. Ah, ah, you are assistant now. <laughs> no! <laughs> tu peux te tenir l'écran, s'il te plaît? You make a strange face, so what? Uh, very buttery. <laughs> ah, ouais, d'accord. <laughs> Welcome to Brittany, people. Welcome to Rennes. <laughs> ok. And you want to. Uh, want to j'ai bien envie de te goûter, toi. Au lieu de tenir le téléphone, ouais. Ok. 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 So, if you want to come back home with cream, we have two kilograms of cream, <laughs> something like this. <laughs> Ça va Not strange. Je sais pas goûter, moi. Ça ressemble. Ça ressemble. Ah, je <laughs> Very good. Not, not enough lemon. <laughs> no, it, it, uh, sorry, if I'm a very critic, uh, but but critic, sorry, sure. Bon, du coup, let's uh, go next to the presentation. If you want to eat this, uh, who wants to eat, Mark? No? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> Par contre, il faut chercher une cuillère. Là. En fait, je pense qu'on pourrait trouver un petit bout et me le repasser. Le... Ouais, j'ai une assiette, tu vois. Ah, assistant, next one. I'm happy. Many assistants here. So, let's continue the... Go, let's go, let's go. I, I, I will... Um... Hey, can, I, can I take the screen back, please? Uh, if you want, you can take this out because it's now uh, hard. So, the PETG sheet is now stiff. It can be removed, otherwise if it's hot and you remove it now, it will 
take uh, the memory of a new shape. And now it's uh, quite much, it's good. So at the end of the pre presentation, we'll take the chocolate out because it needs maybe 20 minutes in the fridge. So let's go, let's continue. Assistant. <laughs> 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 Yes, don't worry, it's your first time, don't worry. It's your first time, don't worry, my first time we are worse than this, okay? It's a superstar. You know, I have a lot of respect for you because you are German. <laughs> it's true, my father is German, that's why. So, I have half respect for you. Yeah, <laughs> half sorry, yes, uh, some way. <laughs> so, let's continue. <laughs> you want to make new ones or uh, no we, don't we don't have any sheets but uh we have to go away and cut for you so we, no let's continue oh it's good so you want to press the button <laughs> no 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 i want to respect you so bitter lessons okay so we have some issue with this technique and you've seen uh okay maybe the Maybe you can pass this by the, the that around. So as you see, it's not very detailed because this person <laughs> has little experience. It's like me on the first day. <laughs> yeah, and you can pass by the 3D prints, the black ones. <clears throat> so I can pass the free ones. The those three 3D prints were printed by my boss. He's a nice guy, and. Uh, there are three different ways of being printed. So if you know before I show it, uh, I give you one piece of cake. Okay, so let's continue. There is a limit with uh, farmer farming for uh, higher details. It is skirting uh, or that it <coughs> makes skirt. So in the picture, it's like this. On the left, it's imprecise. You see in uh, orange the airflow and the airflow is going all around and in the end, the white sheet at the top, okay, the white sheet at the top uh, is, uh, it does not spouse the shape, uh, it's, it does not take the shape very well. On the right side, if the air flows through, through the volume, then the shape, is uh, of the sheet is better. So the solution for this is to use vents. Vents is something that we know well in industry and at the top you see a drill and basically vents in the industry are holes made with drills on CNC, for example, with CNC machines. So, and you can do vents yourself with a drill, for example, with a Dremel machine. And one issue is that with the uh, filament 3D printing, if you use a Dremel, it's too warm. <laughs> it will just make your 3D print ugly. So because it melts the plastic. So there, are, uh, there is another way to make holes in your shape. And this is, comes from La Patisserie Numérique. They've, uh, they've raised a lot of money on French TV recently, thanks to uh, for a pastry 3D printer, La Patisserie Numérique. And Parle pas la bouche pleine. Don't speak uh, full mouth, okay? So. so, you can make holes on the 3D models, like this. You just uh, make a Boolean operation, and in order to have finer details, you see holes on the edges around and inside the cavities, okay? And so, it's uh, you have an idea of the porosity of a 3D print when you put it on the light. But this is really difficult for people who don't master CAD, who don't master 3D modeling so well. So there is another technique, and this happens in, as a post-process, and it's I name it intrusing porosity of uh, filament deposit uh, manufacturing. So basically, when you 3D print not in resin but in filament, the filament is naturally porous. 
it lets uh, air go through, but we can improve this a little bit. So you go on the slicer level, and on the right side, you cannot read, and I can't as well because I don't have my glasses. So what it says basically is that we don't have any bottom layer so that the error can go through from the bottom. And we don't have a very uh, shallow infill. The infill is not so strong, but it must not be so weak because otherwise you will have things like this. Uh, beware be the chocolate. So this this 3D print has not survived the thermal forming because of heat and vertical pressure. And you see that it's deformed. Its shape is completely changed. So we should be aware of this magic technique. Don't make it too strong. So uh, this is a schema of this. You see the, I don't know, the purple at the bottom, there is no layer. We don't want any layer here or a green. No bottom layers or almost none. We need some support inside. So some infill, but not so dense. And at the top, we can have some ironing to make it nice. But uh, but see, even if there are top layers, air should go through because filament is intrinsically porous. This is nice because if you have the same setup at the slicer level for interesting porosity, you just keep using it and you don't have to make any holes on the CAD modeling steps. You don't have to make any Boolean operations and you don't have to drill anything on your on your 3D print. And by the way, you don't have to use resin the, all the time because resin uh, stinks, resin is not good for health, and resin uh, you can put uh, resin everywhere like chocolate everywhere. So, and uh, by, uh, also 3D printers are quite cheap. I know that resin printers now are, get uh, much cheaper. Do you know resin printers? Ah, some people say yeah. Okay. So, this is the summary of the settings. You know this already, I've told you. And there is also adaptive layers on to make nicer sites. So these are the three 3D prints we, which are circulating here. Oh no, they are back. Two are back. So maybe you've seen only the top. Why did you look at the top? Why? Why? The top is the same for each of them. Why? So. But if you look at the bottom, like this, this one, this bottom, you see nothing because it's 100% infill. Okay, and the result should be uglier. You don't see the inner shapes. But on this machine, I don't know why it's the same result. <laughs> it's a special day today. So, <laughs> no, 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 even me. Well, first day, you and me, first day. So. This is a 60% infill. I don't remember if it's cubic. I think it's not cubic, but it's some kind of grid. And it could be could be uh, less than that or with wider, wider areas. It works. And now, this is a G-read, so it's a sort of bio-inspired pattern for infill. I think it's based on mathematical uh, uh, formulas, but we maybe could use bio-inspired infills, like in the Sagrada Familia of uh, Barcelona in Spain by Gaudi. His pillars are, look like trees. So there is this trunk and then branches, and it spreads the weight evenly, nicely, with uh, very little um, material used. Uh, demo time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it, okay. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> Merci. So, sorry, I was not there the whole day because I was trying to prepare this, but it ended up well, so thank you. Thank you.